The trial can be done under general anaesthetic with the patient asleep or alternatively under local anaesthetic using a little sedation. In many cases patients can go home with the trial electrodes in place and they can record the results of the trial during that time. Many patients prefer to stay in hospital during the course of their trial and that's also acceptable. The trial of spinal cord stimulation is undertaken in an operating theatre quite often as a day surgery case. The electrodes or wires are placed along the back of the spinal cord often through very small incisions in the back. These wires come out the skin and are connected to a small box which the patient can hold and control in order to change the amount of electricity that's being sent to their spinal cord. The trial occurs for at least five to ten days and during that period of time a detailed record is kept of what pain levels are, what medication requirements are like and various other changes which may impact on the final decision whether or not to go ahead with a permanent system. In many cases the trial is done whilst the patient is awake with a little sedation. This gives us an opportunity to stimulate on the operating table to really fine tune exactly where we place the electrodes to give the patient the best chance of having a good benefit with the trial and therefore with a permanent system. During the trial patients are given a number of different programs which allow them the opportunity to try a variety of settings. The voltage might be a little higher in one program, a different part of the spinal cord may be stimulated by another program. On the basis of the information recorded during the trial, the neurosurgeon or pain specialist can then make a decision with the patient about whether the trial has been successful and whether they should go on to have a permanent system. In addition, we can examine the degree of pain relief obtained with each of the different programs and this allows us to fine tune placement of the permanent electrode, thereby maximising the chance of a successful outcome.